clap goes the Jean Jongs. Ooh, a Jean Jong. Speaking of Jean Jongs, we're gonna collect the huh? Jimmies. What are they called? Jiggies. No. Because they're jigsaw pieces. Not the jiggies, the little dinosaur animals. Oh, Jinjos. 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 That's a good name. Look at that frog. It's working so hard to get We're playing Banjo Tooie. And there's Tui. Trixie Kong, the bear version. We're playing Banjo Fruie. Bumbo. Fluey. Dude, he's jazzing they out. They changed that. It used to say Nintendo. One get thing it? I was going to say. Yeah. Was that you can tell Banjo it's goes to the club and discos with those shorts? Oh, I guarantee. You Look this. at him. They're tight He's got a vest. He's got on. a tiger tooth or something on his neck. Yeah. He's, Look at that nose. Look at flopping the flopping like a dildo. Look at the belt buckle. Also, mm. do you go with floppier dildos or really stiff dildos? Mm. I like them kind of middle. Yeah. I like them to twist into my butthole. <laughs> But once it's in there, Stop. I like it to be firm, where it just kind of pokes organs. You know, in all honesty, mm, did you know you can like send or you can get a cast of your penis yeah. and send it in and get your own dildo? Yeah. Send it to a lover, maybe. I would want to see how much it costs. I would do it because it I feel like yours Christmas. would be like twenty-five bucks or something, and <laughs> the amount of paste they gotta use for mine it should be like seventy-five cents. <laughs> Like, they give me $5 for a good laugh. Oh, my God. I have a little wiener. So, I think I'm going to try to reinstall Audacity. See if that helps with my problems with it. Uh, reinstall this game, because it looks like shit. <laughs> the reason he says that is, this is our second, third attempt, actually. No, well, the first time was his fault. First time was Tyler's fault. We started to start the episode, and I don't remember what he did, but he did the volume, something. The was volume blast. was The volume was blasted. But this happened with Zelda, too. Then right? the second video, the second time we started the episode, he forgot to sign into his password for Xbox Live, and it took 45 <laughs> seconds for him to remember it. Then, no, it wasn't the third even time, it was just, it was just it in was the taken way. forever. Then, Audacity just quit working after we filmed the whole episode. It was 13 minutes, and we had five minutes of audio. And here we are. Back and better than ever playing a... And Audacity messed up on one of our Zelda episodes, too. It's only been you. This episode's sponsored by... Audacity. Audacity. <laughs> Download our free service. Collect six of us. Yeah, I'd stick Everything my in this game has eyes and talks. Yeah. The honeycomb just talked. So, yeah. what's your problem? I'm gonna weird. I'm gonna get through this quick because I've already said it probably five times in the six times we've tried to record this. Um, I've never played or watched this game all the way through because, and I'm not even that big of a fan of Mario. I think it's literally a copy version, and they were like, let's add a little bit to make it our own game of Mario 64, and I just don't agree with that. I'm not a fan of it. And this game could be good, but I feel like they... It's literally the same game, reskinned with a few extra things. What do you mean? There's so many differences. Oh, yeah. This one has a bear. Okay. With a pocket pussy oh. of a bird following him around. Okay. There's a witch. Are you saying that he puts his wiener in the bird? No. You said a pocket pussy yeah, of a bird. Yeah, that's why he's there. He rips his head around. Oh, God. He can't show you yet because he doesn't have the upgrade. No okay. It's actually, he just starts giving Banjo a bully. That doesn't happen. I would like this game a lot more. But anyways, really, I mean, what's, what's, I mean, what's this is, I don't understand This is how the greatest 64 game. Oh, my God. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I, the only thing I don't understand is how is it the same? It's, it's somebody captures a girl. Uh-huh. You go try and, uh, save said girl. By collecting, by collecting uh, honeycombs and coins and, and pieces all kinds of other things. and pieces. Oh, you gotta go through paintings. Yeah, well, you get pieces, you and once you get enough pieces, you go through something to get yeah. to another world where you collect things and do missions. Eventually, you'll fight the the bad, bad guy. guy who has the girl. Yeah. So I I, I was wrong. They both have blonde hair too. I was wrong. It's yeah, it's completely not, different. Yeah. It's more it's more of a, a story of Wave Race uh, than it is Mario. It's Anyways, a direct copy. Wave Race is a good game. Anyways, is. since I've already said it like in three other tries of this episode, this is one of my favorite games ever. I love it so much. And this is the Xbox 360 version. That's why it doesn't look terrible. Yeah. 
The, so. the, the really bad part is about all this. The most criminal thing he said so far that was serious is that he said this is the best 64 game of all time. Well, it's not because that's not Majora's crazy. Mask. <laughs> I thought you were about to say Ocarina of Time and my wiener is going to shrivel up no, into my it, body. It's Majora's Mask, then Banjo-Kazooie, <laughs> then Mario 64. How can anyone, and I mean anyone, play Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and say Ocarina's better? I don't know. That blows my mind. Or How can anybody play Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie and say this is better? <laughs> it's... I can see the point of Ocarina just because the story's kind of more epic and this, like, you're go, you go on an adventure and then His name's Majora, Quinn. you're kind of just like, you go on an adventure too, but that it's not as epic. It's just like more side questy things. So I get that part of it, but as far as a game, it's not even close. Because the games are very similar in gameplay, it's just one's way better. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He said top ten. I'm 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 not trying to crap on your parade, Tyler. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I really just real quick. I tried to think of games I seriously think are better on the 64 alone, and immediately I thought of Mario 64, Super Mario Car or Mario Kart 64, Smash Brothers 64, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Golden Eye, Ocarina of Time, Star Fox, immediately Fox. Star Fox 64. Immediately thought of all those. Um, Sarge's Heroes. <laughs> I watched a video on YouTube. Was a guy awesome? had his collection of 64 games. He had about 80 games. And he was going through... He had a table spread out. And he said, these are the great games I have. These are the uh, classics I have. These are ones that I think are criminally underrated. These are ones I think are garbage. These are overrated. And then I have four over here that are broken, unplayable pieces of trash. And one of them was Sarge's <laughs> Heroes. <laughs> and I immediately I thought of how that angry game. Would be. That game is good. <laughs> no, it's terrible. Like Land but Before so Time. Fun. Well, we were talking about that when the episode crashed, too. How Zach said he loved Land Before Time, and I always thought it was great. And now I saw it as an adult, and I was like... Home. Every childhood memory just <laughs> got destroyed because of how bad it really was. Come get some. Sarge's Heroes is neat. <laughs> because no. you're a tiny best things in the game that I've seen so far. Get that skull. Oh, mumbo skull. Um, I'm going to make all the sounds for everything. <laughs> Sarge's Heroes was cool because you were literally a tiny little play soldier in a giant version of like re like household places you remember that one you can play in the office you're like walking on keyboards and stuff that's so cool i wonder if it's really good we should oh, play it on here just to see oh we terrible. will is it really not uh, yet yeah, i bet i'm gonna cook y'all's asses <laughs> <laughs> that's for he, sure he uh i got that that same guy i would shout him out but i don't know his name <laughs> <laughs> good but uh he had uh he seemed like he knew what he was talking about, though, because he had Star Fox as one of his criminally underrated games. And what a guy. He had a bunch of, like... Is that underrated? Yes. Yeah. For oh, the I 64? Think so. I think so, because a lot of people have it, like, as 10th to 15th, and when you really play through it, it's easily top five. That's Ferdinand the now, now, where did he put uh, Metroid 64? Oh, it was right above the top one. It was number one. Okay, cool. And a half. You like, mean... Got the first two I love it when Nintendo oh, wait, I got really, it. really... Gives its best, um, its best games and uh, best, what is it, IPs and franchises the limelight and gives yeah. them good games. Well, that's that the good makes thing. Me so happy. That's the good thing about the 64. It had so many Metro games. Yeah. Um, it really started to shine. Super Metro no set the, to be the world on fire. Thank God it wasn't. Let's yeah. take a minute. Yeah, that could have been bad news. Bears. Was it really? Yeah. That's awful. That's terrible. If that was on the 64, Metroid wouldn't exist today. No, I think it's... It not. would be... No. <laughs> if Mario 64 wasn't on the 64. And here's the thing is, it probably would be like... Well, Tyler loves this game, so I don't care. No, it would be terrible. It would to be, be like, fair, the only back reason then we this... Thought, oh, this is awesome. Now it would probably be terrible, but back then we would have been like... That's oh, man, Diddy Kong. Yes, it is, without clothes on. To be fair, the only reason this series is dead is because Nintendo was absolutely stupid and didn't buy Rare. Dude, that's Diddy Kong. <laughs> you realize that, at right? Least, at least whenever they cheat off of Diddy Kong, it is Rare and they made They've made Diddy Kong. So, like, they can intertwine the world. Actually, did you know on Diddy Kong Racing, which is 
Oh, also better than this game. I'm, I'm being serious about that. I really, Diddy Kong Racing is awesome. I really, really like Diddy Kong Racing. That, that, that's... I that, hate... I don't think Zach played it. I, I hate, never played it. I hate so. kart racing games that aren't Mario Kart. That one's on par with any of them. Banjo's in that like, before banjo well, that's what I was say. came out. Before banjo Kazooie even came out, uh, it's a bunch... It's Diddy Kong, a bunch of characters they never used ever again, and Conquer and from Conquer's Bad Fur Day and Banjo. Tell me Funky Kong's in there. No. it's He's the only... Kong. It's just him and a bunch of made-up players. I always use the little oh. turtle. I don't know his name, but he just looks so cute. You know, the he, he looked like Squirtle. The tiger from Green. that game was supposed to be the main character. Really? I used the, that's like, all oh, I used oh, was... Oh, crap. We better put Diddy to myself. The games. only ones I ever used was Diddy, the tiger, and the, the turtle. I've never played that game. Oh, there's a cute little mouse. We should play that on here. Maybe we will. I don't have it, though. I don't have it, though. Yeah, how stupid, stupid is Nintendo to not buy Rare? Oh, real stupid. I think there's a lot of stupid things. I and, told now, Tyler, and now they just rare makes connect connect games. games. Yeah, really? That's basically what they've limited them to. That's... Microsoft bought them and said do connect. Games. Look, look at all the good games rare made. That's really sad. He is. That's why. Uh, that is why Donkey Kong had Donkey Kong 64, and the next one didn't come out until Donkey Kong Country Returns because Microsoft bought them and wouldn't allow them to make anymore. Yeah. And uh, another, uh, actually, the people that made Metroid Prime. They're the ones that made uh, Donkey Kong. Retro. Retro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing that was really stupid, I said this to Tyler yesterday. Microsoft might be the dumbest corporation ever because they're starting to... You can buy Microsoft games on Steam now, mm -hmm. on computers, except for the one that they would make so much money off of. Halo's not on Steam. Oh, if really? they put Halo on Steam, I guarantee... Hundreds of thousands of people that would, one, two, and three. I would buy it. Oh yeah, Halo Three is one of my favorite games. Well, ever. let's just one uh, the talent truck from uh, Bottles and we'll in the episode. Tyler always has special. I know he's like, oh, it's Zelda, so well, we're I, gonna I, have a forty-seven minute episode. I just <laughs> don't want to sit through a bunch of tutorials every episode. I'm, I'm too flaccid right now. We're gonna ginger waving. I like your wave. <laughs> that puzzle piece Woo! and goodbye to go if you know what i mean i like they're called jiggy getting jiggy with it <laughs>